Hi guys, it's Della and today I'm going to show you guys how to create this Korean inspired back to school makeup. I know I don't look Korean at all but this was a highly requested video and this is just a very simple and natural look for school. Perfect if you want to look like you're very polished and if you're a K-pop fan, why not try to look a little bit more K-pop-ish. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Starting off with a bare face, you want to first take your moisturizer and moisturize your skin. Moisturizer is extremely important in the skincare regimen because you want to make sure that you hydrate your skin. Instead of foundation, go for BB cream. BB cream is a lot lighter and it also treats your skin. So dot the BB cream evenly all over your face to make sure that you get an even coverage. And then, take a beauty sponge and start blending away. I like to use tapping motions first to make sure that the BB cream really sinks into the skin. And BB cream is very famous in Korea because it is lightweight and also it gives a more natural effect and it's pretty impossible to cake on. And another great thing about it is that you can build up the coverage. So if you need some extra uh, BB cream on some spots, go ahead and do so so that you can get coverage. For concealer, go for an illuminating concealer and this will just brighten up your skin and give it a more dewy effect like Korean artists have. So start applying this on the under eye and also create this T mark on your forehead, the sides of your lips, the sides of your nostril to conceal any redness, and the chin for all over even glow. And then blend away. You can use your fingers but I'm using an Eco Tools concealer brush. Next, set your makeup. This is very important because you're going to be very active in school and hence you're probably going to sweat and you want to make sure that the makeup is sealed so it won't sweat away and look like a horrendous mess. Next for the brows, I'm using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit and you want to create straight brows. Koreans are famous for very straight brows so go ahead and outline the shape of your brows first and then fill it in using hair like strokes. Afterwards, start dusting a little bit of brow powder to wherever you need extra fullness. And I like to do this with my eyebrows just to create a little bit of contour to the sides of my nose. Blend with a spoolie brush to make sure that it looks natural. And then we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm taking Barely Branded from Maybelline and applying this using my ring finger in tapping motion to the mobile lid and also applying it around the brow bone. This will bring more light into your eyes and it will look a lot more natural. See, it just looks a lot more fresher. Do the same with the other eye and this will be the base for the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow, just go for a light shimmering nude color and again using your ring finger, pat it to wherever you put the base and also around the inner corner to illuminate your eyes. This will also give your eyes a more wet effect. Using your pinky finger, take a slightly more pinkish shimmering color and apply this around the tear duct. This is the first option for the eyeliner. Take a brown eyeshadow on an angled brush and line your eyes normally. At the end, do not wing it up. Just go follow the natural eye shape downwards connecting to the outer third of your lower lash line. Brown eyeshadow looks a lot more natural than if you were to use black eyeliner. But if you do want to go for a full-on K-pop inspired makeup, black eyeliner is a must. Here I'm using Milani's black liquid liner and again, the outer edge just falls down following the eye shape and connecting to the outer third of the lower lash line. This will create that doe eyes effect. Don't stretch on your skin, instead just hold it firmly down so you can have better control. Apply coats of your favorite black mascara to the top and bottom lashes. I kinda OD on mascara every time just because I don't like to touch it up, but feel free to bring your lash curler. Now that the eyes are finished, we can move on to the face. Go for a cream blush because it looks a lot more natural and blend with your fingers. You can use a pink color or a peach color. Blend away any excess using the kabuki brush that you used previously. 
And then using a lip stain, start lining the lips where the top and bottom lip meet. This will create a bitten effect and blend downwards so that it doesn't look like a straight off line. This Revlon Just Bitten Kiss List Stain also has a built-in lip balm on it, so be sure to hydrate your lips. And now your look is complete! You're ready for school and you're ready to go out and learn and look super cute. I seriously very much love this look and it is definitely a very unique eyeliner shape. And if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!